Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Android 6.0 on the Nexus 7, second generation. And when I first got my Galaxy Note 5, I was all bummed because I know I'm not going to get Android 6 until like 15 years from now because we know carriers and manufacturers are just terrible about getting out updates unless it's a Nexus device. And I was all sad because I couldn't use Marshmallow. But then I remembered I have a Nexus 7 lying around. And so I thought to myself, I should download Android 6.0. And so I did, and I tried it out for about a week, and I have to say, I really enjoy it. Now, visually, there's not a ton of stuff that's different. It still has that material design look, but I, I haven't used this a lot in the recent months, and I just felt it was like getting a little bit slower, the battery life wasn't that great, but after installing Android 6.0 on this thing, I feel like it's a lot faster, and I know for a fact that the battery is almost a whole day longer than it was before, and I'll explain that later. But I don't know if it's just my brain just wishing it would be a better device, but it feels like a newer device with this Android 6.0. Everything is nice and fast. Swap, swip, swap, swoop. Uh, what's that even mean? Smooth would be the correct word. Now, two of the main big features in Android 6.0 are Google Now and Tap and Doze. And so we'll talk about Doze first. And basically how that works is whenever your device is not being used, it goes into kind of a hibernating state where it's still on, but it's gonna use a very low amount of power. And it does that just for the system in general and for apps that haven't been used. And you can get a lot more battery life once your system enters Doze. And if you look in your battery history, you can see you know, when you've charged your device and then when you're using it. And then whenever it's in Doze, it's a pretty horizontal line. You're not losing much battery power. And I know I've gotten at least a solid day extra battery out of this thing because before, I'll get three or four days maybe, and now I'm getting around five days, which is better. Uh, and a day longer battery is always a good thing. And Google Now and Tap is the other main feature. And basically how that works is you're visiting pretty much anything on your tablet, a Twitter page, a website, whatever, and you hold the home button. Google Now will kind of do a little animation where it encircles the screen, and then it'll say if anything's on tap. And it can be anything from movie characters to information about their characters to their social links if they have like Twitter or Facebook, um, to movie ratings, to stats about somebody, really anything. And it doesn't work for everything because, and it doesn't, it's not always accurate either because I tried it for my Twitter profile page and it came up with like Tyler Miller's like the husband of some random lady I never even heard of. That's incorrect. Uh, it is me. You know, you can at least link my YouTube channel. So it doesn't always give you the most accurate results. Uh, but for the most part, if you're searching something that's well known, it's going to give you something related to what you're looking for. And the nice thing about it is that it just shows all that information while the other app is still open in the background. And so other than Doze and Google Now and Tap, the change list is like relatively short. There might be a couple UI things going on, but it's mostly optimization and then Google Now and Tap and Doze are the big things. If you guys have Android 6.0, let me know how it works on your devices because I know tablets act completely different than phones because we use our phones a lot more than we use our tablets for the most part. And so I'm curious to see how your guys' experience with Android 6.0 is on your mobile devices such as cell phones. And so that's going to be it for this video. Just wanted to cover Doze and Google Now and Tap and my experience with Android 6.0 on the Nexus 7. And if so, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe for more videos from me. Check out all my social links that are all down in the description below. And thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, here's a half shell. Turtle power. I have to say, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer looks 10 times better than the one for the first movie, that's for sure.